Hey, what's going on guys? I'm going to do a movie review today and that is The Mist, which is a Stephen King novel that they made into a film. It's pretty much close to the novel except for the ending. But um, what are my thoughts on this film? <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus This movie is a dumpster fire You want to know why it's a dumpster fire? Because The ending sucks Pretty much, the whole movie, as it plays out, is actually, it's actually decent. You, kind of, you know, you like the characters. They're likable, at least the lead. The little boy and the mom. They're likable. You care about them. And that's why the ending sucks. And makes the entire film completely Pointless. When it comes to modern horror, this is the absolute worst. I'm sure the book is awesome. And I hear the, the, the Stephen King novel, the ending is not like the ending that is in the film. I don't know if they did a couple of different endings to this film. But the one that they released, that is included in the film, sucks. It's fucking horrible. And this movie, I believe people talked really highly about. And I'm like, why? Why? And I guess you could look at it as a cautionary tale, but it just... Why? Why invest time in a film that you care about the characters? The main the main characters, the father, the mom, the kid. And there was a storm and all the power's out. You know. Really bad storm. So they have to drive to the supermarket to get food and you know supplies and all that stuff. And there's this mist. And inside the mist is these creatures that every time they go outside of the supermarket, these creatures kill them. They like different kinds of creatures like they're flying kind of creatures come find out they're creatures from another dimension that have entered in our world so and you got all these different personalities in the in this you know uh, supermarket you know, and a good amount of religious people, this main religious lady is like, she's trouble from the get-go. You know she's going to be a serious problem because she's preaching and saying, oh, this is the end of days and this mist and, you know, people dying and get killed by these creatures. This is all part of end of days. No. And she she starts becoming mad where she's going to start killing people to sacrifice them to these creatures. Or just kill them in general. To the point where she's all these other people that are there in the supermarket are actually f becoming, you know, they're believing her bullshit and are following her. And this crazy woman 
religious freak is basically saying kill the father lead kill his son I mean it's getting to that point because these people are, are you know they're against the way they think and the way they live their life people are just going crazy I think the mist is not helping I think I want to say the mist is part uh, it could be that it's making them crazy a little bit you know they get exposed to the mist they get exposed to these creatures and somehow it kind of makes them more cr makes them a little crazy but eventually this family and a couple other people escape you know this bunch of crazy Jesus freaks fucking religious crazy people that want to sacrifice people get out of this supermarket go in their car drive off and then they run out of gas and there's this big and giant huge King Kong sized creature that is in front of them and they're out of gas <coughs> And the father looks at his wife and looks at the two people behind him. The older couple. And uh, looks at his son that's sleeping. And looks at the gun he has and decides that they're probably better off dead because they're probably gonna, not going to survive this so he shoots his son as he wakes up and looks at him straight in the eyes shoots his son shoots his wife and shoots the two people in the back seat and then tries to put the gun in his mouth and try to shoot himself and the, there's no bullets and he's crying, he's all frantic, he's all upset. Gets out of the car, he's crying and shit. And all of a sudden you see a tank come. And there's help. There's still life. Because I guess they thought there were, no one would help them. So he decided to just kill everybody. He was going to kill himself, but he, didn't, he ran out of bullets. But there's help. There's still life. And these people are, you know government they're taking care of the problem and um, that's how it ends the father's crying and if you just wait a few seconds help was on the way that's your movie and because of that ending this movie fucking sucks this is new modern horror. This is entertainment. To watch a downbeat ending that sucks ass. This movie sucks. It made the entire movie pointless. This is just a horrible cautionary tale. If it is one. But to me it's just it feels like a movie that the director made a decision to just do shock value and do a stupid ass ending and that's what people talk about and it's the most memorable part of the fucking movie which is sad because it actually had potential if they had a different ending or added more to it could have had some more action more creatures more fighting more risk more life's at stake kind of could have been more sci-fi-ish maybe some fucking laser guns or something I mean it, they could have really went out and made this really fun but they had a stupid fucking ending for us to see so it just leaves you like wow I don't want to watch this ever again and I'm getting I'm getting to the fucking point where I am just done with modern horror at least these newer 
modern horror because uh, it's like horrible horror film uh, fatigue it's the best way I could describe my experiences how I feel about modern horror it's just modern horror fatigue bad movie fatigue I'm all I'm just kind of over it because I I watched this film I've watched several that were just bad bad horror films I've been trying to give them a chance but they're just not good I tried watching a horror film a newer one what was it uh, truth or dare I couldn't even get halfway through it because this premise was so stupid you know it's just elementary and dumb and I pretty much speed watched that to the ending and I knew it was going to be dumb and it was dumb from what I saw at the, en the ending it's just dumb modern horror is dumb Hellfest this movie The Mist Hereditary several others I'm sure I'm forgetting to mention but they they, they suck hell even fucking um, Bye Bye Man had at least some entertainment value even though the movie wasn't good but that's this is this modern horror that sucks. It sucks. It's horrible. So, God, man. Fuck. Remake all the classics, please. If Hollywood can't come up with a fucking good horror film that's modern, that's a new type of horror, come up with something. You know, remake everything, please. Remake Pet Cemetery. Remake it. Remake all the Stephen King movies. Remake Nightmare on Elm Street. Remake Friday the Thirteenth. Remake all the great classics from fucking eighties, because the shit they're coming out with now, Hellfest, fucking shitty remakes of fucking. Ah, oh, God, what the fuck was that movie? Oh, Suspiria. Fuck. Suspiria sucked. Remake the good ones, at least. I mean, the original Suspiria was good. But if you're gonna... And that's another problem. If you're gonna remake a movie, remake it and respect the original. Suspiria remake did not respect the original. Because you got stupid, modern horror directors and writers who don't know how to fucking write. Instead they do shock value and it's shit. It's shit. At least Wes Craven and John Carpenter and Stephen King and Toby Hooper and all these great horror directors and writers Clive Barker. Fuck all these guys. They were good directors and writers and they entertained you. And they had something to say and it was visually good and had all everything was good about those films. They didn't insult you. They didn't insult you at all. But how stupid they fucking make these movies now. Maniac remake. I've never seen the original, but I bet you any money that the fucking original is better. Because this maniac sucked. The remake. Fuck. Oh my god. I have to talk about another video about remakes and have a discussion about that. But this missed movie was fucking pointless. This is my review rant of The Mist. Holy shit, was this horrible. <sighs> God. 
I'll talk to you guys later. Take it easy.